LVM versus ZFS. Do you know what a volume manager is? Hi guys, I'm back with another useful video that's going to help you manage your Linux OS resources a lot more efficiently. So today we're going to talk about volume managers. A volume manager is a software that controls the capacity and volume of your disk. Basically, it helps manage the areas on your disk that you interact with as a user. Volume managers work both on physical disks and server-hosted disks. For many Linux users, Logical Volume Management, LVM, has been the primary volume manager. It's so popular that many Linux distributions already offer it as a built-in feature or have their base code integrated to be compatible with it. Now, LVM is a great tool, but since it has been in the market since late 90s, a lot of Linux users, especially developers, are looking for alternatives and newer volume managers. ZFS or Zettabyte file system is a volume manager that was initially developed for the Oracle OS. When the team behind ZFS found the demand for a new Linux volume manager, they released its open source version in 2010, which was then ported to Linux. Let's just say that developers were extremely happy with this decision since, apart from being a volume manager, ZFS offers file system management solutions. There are two best examples for Linux volume managers. But the question is, should we stick to the good old LVM or go to the newer ZFS? One of LVM's strengths is its flexibility in managing disks and volumes. It allows you to extend file systems across multiple disks. This is done by grouping disks and partitions into one logical volume. That logical volume is then shared on multiple disks, which makes data management more flexible. ZFS does something similar with the ZPool feature. ZPool is a unified storage pool that treats all devices as a single large storage pool. This allows you to create file systems or datasets within the pool with each one having their own settings and properties. LVM, unfortunately, doesn't have any features to integrate data. It relies heavily on the underlying file system for data integrity. ZFS, on the other hand, has the end-to-end -end checksums features that allows the volume manager to detect and repair data corruption automatically. In terms of snapshot capabilities, LVM and ZFS both offer the feature with different approaches. LVM uses a copy and write approach at the block level, which means more storage space is being used to the original volume when a snapshot is taken. This system is slower and less space efficient than you would expect. ZFS also uses the copy and write approach, but the integration is different. ZFS allows for efficient and instant snapshots with this approach. It allows you to create and manage clones of these snapshots. In terms of compatibility with Linux, no other volume manager is better than LVM. LVM is a more native choice and has better support from the Linux distribution. ZFS, as I said before, is available on Linux through its open source project, the OpenZFS. It may require more effort to set up and maintain that LVM. No matter which volume manager you choose, they both work on server-hosted disks. So if you need a Linux virtual private server, you simply do not have to worry about managing data across disks and servers. You can get your own Linux VPS from CloudZ and take advantage of high quality performance in more than 15 global locations with 99.95% uptime and minimum latency. CloudZ also has a team of technical support agents if you need any help with using volume managers. I hope you got all you need from this video. Head to the link in the comments to learn all about our Linux VPS and I'll see you again in another video.